Hello UBC, I'm Curtis LeBlanc. It's March 5th, 2012, and you're watching the UBC Weekly Show. This week in the feature section, it's the culture supplement, edited by our culture editor, Ginny. It's a whole bunch of students who bring, send in all these stories and poems and different shit that they write. They send in a bunch of stories and poems on a theme, and then one of them is judged as the winner, and they get some money, and they also get some uh, subscriptions to magazines and other fun prizes. It's really great. In the news section this week, uh, we have a story about how um, some research monkeys in uh, a Parkinson's a research project at UBC ended up dying unexpectedly. And oh yeah, Gage South consultations, they're still going. Alright, listen up, I'm going to tell you this once and I'm only going to tell you at one time. Women's volleyball is going to win the national championship this weekend. I have no idea if that's true though, they're playing right now. So what happened? In a come-from-behind victory, the UBC Thunderbirds women's volleyball team won their fifth consecutive national championship today, beating the University of Alberta Pandas, as I said, in five sets. It's a spectacular victory for the Birds. I mean, winning five straight national championships in a team-based sport, I mean, it's almost unprecedented. Uh, at UBC, that is probably the crowning achievement in team sports. I mean, they played Alberta today. The team they lost to twice this year once in the regular season and in the Canada West finals and they were almost an underdog in this match even though they had the experience and have been so dominant. So as you mentioned before this is uh, their fifth consecutive national championship. How significant of an achievement is that? They have to be over the moon. You know coach Doug Reimer after the game he said the first one was euphoric and this one is euphoric because you have to get the sense that he understands that like what they have done is truly special. They had lost in the Canada West and you know they're placing a team that maybe in their minds are thinking you know they've got the better of us twice can we beat them and to go out there and do it I mean it's huge for the team it's huge for the program it's big for UBC it's our fourth national championship this year you know in team sports and you know I whether or not we ever see something like this again remains to be seen but I don't know if if we will. Earlier on in the year, you wrote an article mentioning that if UBC did happen to win this national championship, it would be possibly UBC's greatest dynasty. Uh, what's your stance on that now? I still don't know if you can make the case that they are yet. I mean, swimming has won 10 in a row, and that's pretty hard to catch. And the other thing is that the University of Alberta back in the day did win six in a row. So I think UBC is going to have to catch them to be the, you know, the longest running volleyball dynasty before we can, you know, say for certain that they are UBC's greatest dynasty first. No. Thanks everyone, that's all for today. I'm Curtis LeBlanc, returning to my people since 1918.